So in this video, we have a simulated lab on determining the spring constant of a click pen. Uh, normally this is something I just would tell groups to do and they would come up with their own ways of doing things. Uh, but of course we are in lockdown. So I've decided to make a video of the basic idea here. Um, your ultimate goal here is you're going to calculate the spring constant in the click pen that I have shown down here at the bottom. Um, i got a series of clicks that launches the pen up into the air and by using energy concepts you should be able to calculate the spring constant K inside that pen. So I've got the video for you and uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to watch the video here. You'll get to be full screen here. I'll do some pausing. So down here at the bottom, you, you can see the top of the pen. This is where I would do any kind of measurements at. And in the first thing you see me, I'm going to click the pen open. And then it bring, comes back up. And now this right here, the, the very bottom of the pen, this is at maximum compression of the spring. And right here, I'm about ready to release it up into the air. And so maximum compression released up into the air. Now I'll go back a little bit here, and I'll try to do this in slow-mo. So we're compressed maximally, and I'm going to be, oh, I restarted it, sorry. So there's the pen that's clicked. Now we're at maximum compression, and now I'm going to eventually here launch her into the air. And you can determine then from where it started at to where it went, how high into the air it went. And... Uh, you can use your YouTube controls to do this as well, and I'm using my controls here as well to kind of get a basic determination of that. And so I can tell it kind of went up to 20. Now I've got several trials of this, so you can see that I'm re resetting the pen here. And again, we're going into click mode here. And so there's the pen clicked on. There's the pen, wait, at maximum compression. Missed it there at the very end. So, there we go. Pen at maximum compression. Launched up into the air. How high does it get to? So you're trying to determine this height based on the tip of the pen, based on where it started out here at the bottom. Now I've got several uh, trials of this. Some are better than others. And so based on the video here, you should be able to get some data. And you should be able to do some calculations, like that shot right there, that was terrible. I wouldn't measure that shot there. Uh, you should be able to get some data, maybe even multiple versions of it, to get a uh, an average. Maybe there's two or three good ones. That was a dud there, too. And you're like, well, why didn't I just edit those duds out? Well, it's not so easy as you'd think. Um, so, again, um, when you're doing this, uh, look for times when the pen is at maximum compression. Take notice of what that is on the ruler. Uh, try to figure out how high the pen went. And then based on energy concepts, you should be able to figure out the spring constant K off of that pen. All right, I'll give you several days to uh, work on that, and we'll have this due maybe on um, Tuesday. Thank you.